All right, what's up guys? It's Lee 2321 This is the first video I've made in a really, really long time. Um, I, this video is going to be on my king snake. Um, I just cleaned her cage. I fed her a little while ago, and then after she used the bathroom, I cleaned out her cage, and I'm just going to give you a rundown on everything I use in here. I know the glare is really bad, and um, the lighting's horrible, but uh, let's hope we can just try and make this work a little bit. So, I have, this is a 40 gallon tank with a locking screen lid, because she is an escape artist. She'll figure out ways to uh, get out. I use, wow, the lighting is absolutely terrible. I use Zoomed Forest Floor Cypress Mulch. Um, it holds humidity well, so it helps her when she sheds. You cannot see anything. This is horrible. Uh, I have just a piece of like a little stump root thing that I found in the woods that I treated that she likes to climb around on. Uh, an Exoterra large rocked in hide thing. Two water bowls, that one's deeper, that she'll uh, drink out of and she'll burrow around it to cool off. And this one, she'll, um, she also drinks out of it and she will just coil herself up in it whenever she's soaking in the water. And then I have this little snake wood tube thing that she crawls through to help get her shed off. So, um, she eats medium frozen thawed mice uh, once every other week. That seems to do her good because we used to feed her once a week and she started to get to the point where it once a week, um, some weeks she wouldn't take the food. So, we switched it to once every other week, and now she eats really well. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put her back in her enclosure. I have, she's in my clothes hamper right now. Uh, you can't even see her. Oh, this is, I just put her in here to hold her while I change the bedding. And, um, I just cleaned her habitat, so let's just get her out. I don't want to reach up in there just because it's a small space and if you guys know, whoever watches this, if you have king snakes and you know that they can be, they're not, she's not mean. She's, the only person she's bitten is, well, she bit my dad once, that's because she was hungry, and then my brother because he scared her really bad, but whenever you touch them, they're still kind of jumpy and they have to get really used to you. She's obviously more used to me than anyone else because she stays in my room and she sees me like every day that I'm in here. And so just the best way when you're handling king snakes is to just go in and let's see. Let me just try and get her out of here because I mean I just don't want to scare her too bad. Best way when you're handling king snakes is just go in and grab them and they're gonna jump and probably shake their tail and flicker their tongue at you, but it's okay now. She is sort of camera shy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plop her down in her cage, and I don't have any water in her bowls yet. I just wanted to make the video really fast to show you guys, uh, you know, how, how she was, and I will be doing more videos i've got lots of new updates to do I like my aquarium and i got a new gecko a new leopard gecko so i'll show you guys oh and just a helpful hint i don't know if you can see but on these whoever has a locking screen lid there's these little wow you really can't see there's these little like flaps right here and on this one you have to push really hard to close it because right here it's like a little hole and if you don't close the lid all the way one time she stuck her head up through the hole and pushed the cage open and got out and so that was this uh snake used to be my cousins but he joined the military so 
he gave it to us and it was funny because back when he had her that's when that happened and she ended up in the bed with my aunt and so that terrified her and uh that wasn't very good but um yeah that's pretty much it i'll be doing lots more updates as you can see she's uh getting used to everything she's gonna start her new burrow soon she lives she just tunnels like an ant farm under this mulch i'm actually thinking about making her a more because i don't really like how when this cypress mulch dries out it gets a little rough and sharp when it doesn't have humidity and uh i'm actually thinking about making her a bedding mixture with like some cypress mulch and like a small layer of uh, like eco earth or plantation soil, just coconut fiber, coconut husk stuff, because that's very good for burrowing. Burrowing, that's what I use for my leopard geckos. Humid hide holds humidity well, and that way she can just dig through it easier, so I don't have to worry about her getting cut up. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions about any of my animals or how I take care of them. And, uh, yeah, I uh, will see you guys later. Bye.